this is a follow-up to the posting that I made a couple of days ago regarding the social security benefit that you're getting in the US and also if you're getting something from the Philippines in particular or any other overseas country but this topic is from the Philippines specifically. I received a comment from one of my viewers and I appreciate that a lot and I would like to post it here to give you an update as to what I was told. Stay with me, we'll talk about it. We're going to talk about what I discussed the other day regarding pension you're receiving from the Philippines, social security system, affecting the pension you're receiving or social security benefit you're receiving from Social Security Administration. First, let's take a look at the comment that I received, for which, by the way, I thank you so much for sending this. Uh, this is what I would like to have some kind of a discussion. As I mentioned before, I'm not an expert on this, and I'm just as confused as everybody else on this subject matter. Hi, I just saw your video. Good effort, but you are way off the weeds on the citizenship issue. <clears throat> WEF has nothing to do with your citizenship or when you earned your foreign pension. It affects those with foreign pension and, the in, and, and a U.S. Social Security benefit, no matter where they live or what their citizenship status is. <clears throat> Let me make a correction on that. I'm not hang up on the citizenship issue. Whether you are a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident, you are treated the same way. It has nothing to do with citizenship. Now, the third category is non-resident. This does not apply. I'm not talking about non-resident. Because if you're a non-resident, you only get tax on your income in the U.S. If you are a U.S. citizen or a U.S. permanent resident, you get tax on worldwide income. Okay? So I just want to clarify that. <clears throat> Here's the next one. This may not be too relevant, but let's read through it. There are many German citizens living in Germany who work in the U.S. who are complaining about WEP. Polish pensioners who earned their pension before coming to the U.S. complaining. Canadian citizens who work between both the U.S. and Canada complaining. You are fixating on U.S. expats because they are the only ones whose complaints you see online. The point is that people around the world are affect affected and complaining about web. <clears throat> like what I said, I'm not com fixated on the citizenship issue, okay? I already said that. Whether you as a US, U.S. citizen or permanent resident, you're treated the same way. Israeli U.S. pensioners sued SSA, that is the Social Security Administration in the U.S., and won because they proved that Israeli pensions are non-earnings related and not subject to WEP. These folks all live in Israel. Japan has an online petition against WEP for their pensioners. Polish Americans affected by WEP are active through their organization Polish American Strategic Initiative, which is lobbying to repeal WEP. So a lot of people are lobbying Congress to repeal WEP. It's a very complicated subject indeed. It has nothing to do with citizenship and we are all trying to repeal it. It affects us because foreign pensions are considered non-covered earnings for SSA, US. They do have ways of accessing your parent pe foreign pension information from overseas. I didn't know that and I don't know how they, how they have access to it. But let's assume that they do. If you go to on Facebook, there's a big Facebook page, National Web and GPO Repeal Movement, or a website called socialsecurityfairness.org, which can guide you. Your video is important because U U.S. teachers are the biggest group affected by web because they pay into private pension systems. There's a teacher shortage everywhere, and one reason is that teachers are often penalized 
in retirement by the web. To fill this shortage, school systems in Florida, for example, are hiring many new teachers from the Philippines. Those Filipino teachers will all be affected by WEP when they claim U.S. Social Security benefit and no one is telling them. Please don't quote me and use or use my name in any way. I work on this organization and I do this all day long. It's a big mess. That, thanks for addressing it in your video. So I blocked it out to respect his wish not to be uh, disclosed as to who he is, but I sort of trust his knowledge on the subject matter because he works for this organization. So he is well versed on the subject matter. Oh, this is my response. Thank you very much for sharing this information. This whole thing is a mess and completely unfair. Someone said, I only work in the US for nine years one year short of the required 10 years and therefore I do not get social security benefit. However, even if he worked in the Philippines for another 10 years, that is not taken into account in terms of his total work years. Yet the pension benefit he earns for working for 10 years in the Philippines is being taken into account under web. Oh, I would fight like, I will fight like hell the social security on this even if I don't win because it's not fair. Thank you for your work with the name of the organization. I hope these politicians get to their senses. Vlogger Grandpa. He responded back. <clears throat> Hi, no. If someone does not have enough credit to claim SS in the US, they can totalize or combine those credits with anything they've earned in the Philippines. This is called totalized benefit and it is not subject to the web. If he's not able to receive USSS because he doesn't have enough credits, then how can they apply the WEP? Agreed. WEP is only applied to US benefit. If he's not getting a US benefit, they can take out the WEP. If he's not getting a US benefit because he doesn't have US, uh, enough US credits, he can combine those credits with those earned in the Philippines to form a totalized pension that is not subject to the web. Totalized. That means combined. So even if you only have nine years, six years here, but if you work for 10, 20 years in the Philippines, they will all be looked upon. Right? And because of that, it's not subject to web. So there won't be any deduction. It doesn't make sense. It makes more sense that if they totalize it, that if you're receiving something in the Philippines, that they take those into account also under what? Here's my response. Just to clarify, if I work only for six years in the US, four years short of the required 10 years, and paid into Social Security, but I also worked 15 years in the Philippines prior to coming to the US, I will be able to collect <clears throat> Social Security benefit in the US through totalization, but will be reduced for WEP due to pension being received in the Philippines. Did I understand that correctly? Here's a follow-up. But is the first <clears throat> but is the first statement correct in that I will be entitled to Social Security benefit even if I have less than 10 years of credit in the US by simply including work in the Philippines? I never heard this before. I thought you have a 10-year work in the U.S. You have to have 10-year work in the U.S. This is important to me because I want to make another vlog on this as this area is confusing to almost everyone, vlogger grandpa. Okay, I was wrong. Sorry, I assumed that Philippines has a social security totalization agreement with the U.S. Most of the countries I see do. Philippines does not. Here are the countries that do. He provides a website, but we're talking about the Philippines. So let's take for granted that there is no totalization agreement between Philippines and the U.S. Since there is no totalization agreement with the U.S., no, you cannot combine your credits with the U.S. So he's just correcting that mistake, which is fine. There has to be an agreement in place to be able to do that. So no, you can't contribute your U.S. credit with a Philippine credit. 
for less than 10 US years, you'd have to consult SSA? I honestly don't know. He also does not know. This thing is really complicated. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm reading the comments on your blog and everyone going to the US on the US citizenship issue. I don't think it's a factor with social security or web. You can work and receive as a ben SSA benefit as a non-US citizen. True. I'm sure they calculate web on your benefits whether or not you are a US citizen. It is not tax, it's a social security penalty. True. If you receive SSA benefit, you're subject to WEP regardless of your citizenship as far as I know. True. Again, citizenship, permanent residence, you're treated the same way. You do not have to be a citizenship. It's not a citizenship issue. The only time it will make a difference is if you're a non-citizen because as a non-citizen, you get tax only on your US source income. And as a matter of fact, I don't remember, I'm sure I knew before because I was specializing in resident returns, tax returns before. I can't remember if they do pay social security. If I remember, they do, they do. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. But that is not the issue. So forget about citizenship issue. The issue for me is why you're not being given credit and yet, you're being given a deduction for the benefit you get. There should be a Chinese wall, as far as I'm concerned, to make sense. Now, here is another comment regarding this issue, which is counter to what that other person is saying. Thank you, Blogger Grandpa, for bringing up this topic. I read comments regarding this topic from your different videos. When my husband applied for his retirement benefit in April of 2022, he was interviewed by the, this is fairly fresh, he was interviewed by the SSA staff that was handling his application. After his interview, my husband asked the SSA staff that if and when it is my right to receive my SSA benefit, this is the US benefit, okay, will the SSS pension that I may be receiving from the Philippines will be affected by as will be affected the SSA benefit that I may be receiving. My husband clearly told the SSA staff that my contribution to SSS Philippines was a long time ago and when I was still a Filipino citizen. Again, nothing to do with citizenship, but he was in the Philippines. The SSA staff said that SSA and the Philippines have no agreement about that. In short, how much I may be receiving in from SSA will not be affected by SSS pension. Is that correct? Still, I'm interested to learn more about different experiences from our Kababayans. By the way, I have been a naturalized U.S. citizen since 2018. Now I'm 61 and I'm planning to apply for SSS pension. But the problem is I don't have Philippine bank account required by SSS. That's a separate topic in itself. So as you can see, although this first person... Uh, uh, disagreed with me uh, and I'm not sure that he is incorrect because that is also what I was hearing. It's it's just a mixed bag. This second person is saying that yeah I was told it's not going to be affected. So what is it really? Will it be or will it not be? And my point has nothing to do with what is the correct law. My point is is the law reasonable? Whatever it is. What I'm saying is if you are short on your years, and if they count the years when you are overseas, let's forget about the Philippines for now, overseas, where there is a totalization effect, then good. But then, to the extent you are receiving pension overseas, this is another country, then that should also be taken into account to reduce your benefit in the U.S. because they are applying the totalization principle. Now, if there is no totalization agreement, to me, it's like treating each one on its own. Let's look at the U.S. If you're one year, two year, three years short, hmm, too bad, you don't get any benefit. So forget about that. 
You get no benefit, period. But no. That is the law. You need 10. That, that, that is something that is confirmed by everyone. If you have less than 10 years, you don't get any benefit. Now, in those countries where there is totalization, even though you only work here for five years, if you work for 15 years in another country, they combine both, and that's what they use as a basis for your social security benefit, okay, then I, at that point, I agree that WEP will apply, meaning this windfall uh, elimination provision should be taken into account because you're looking at it as a whole. But no, this gentleman or this person, he or she said that web does not apply so it's a total reversal of what i consider to be a reasonable law but you know what when i was in the tax department if i'm looking at a provision and of course i'm just being facetious now when i say this and i said oh this makes sense it has to be wrong tax law has not should not make sense for it to be correct <laughs> that's just a joke so anyway, I'm saying to myself, gee, this, this is uh, really ridiculous. And uh, uh, if it is true that, oh, you have to have 10 years, and then if it's also true that they will have to make a deduction for your pension you're receiving in the Philippines, I think the government should repeal this law. They should review this again. And uh, I call on the US government to please take a look at this thing because it does not make sense, again if my understanding of the law is correct. Thank you so much for watching. I'll appreciate it if you pass this information to others. <clears throat> I guess it created a little bit more confusion rather than clarification on the subject, but the fact that it is causing a confusion, I believe it has to be addressed. Please click like on my video. It will help me a lot and I'll appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Thank you very much. God bless and Make it a great day.